what happened to Orleans. When guitarist John Hall met drummer Wells Kelly in a band named Thunderfrog in the late 1960s, the seeds of what would become the rock and roll band Orleans were sowed. Kelly later joined an early form of King Harvest, but left in 1970, three years before Dancing in the Moonlight became a Billboard number 13 hit for King Harvest. In the same year, he contributed to Hall's debut solo album, Action. When their song Half Moon was included on Janis Joplin's album Pearl in early 1971, Hall and his wife Joanna gained notoriety. The Halls moved to the area because they wanted to be closer to the music scene in Woodstock, New York. In December 1971, Kelly received a call from an old friend Larry Hoppin, inviting him to join his group. Kelly accepted the offer and joined Roy Markowitz on drums and Bill Gelber on bass as a keyboard player. Markowitz and Gilbert only survived until January 1972 when Hoppin encouraged John Hall to join on Kelly's advice. The three, now known as Orleans, performed as a trio in clubs, frequently switching instruments during their performances. Larry's brother was brought in to play bass in late October 1972, freeing Larry up to play more guitar and keyboards. As their fame spread, Rolling Stone dubbed Orleans America's best unrecorded band, and they were soon signed to ABC Dunhill Records, who published their debut album. After failing to chart with that first attempt, the band continued with Orleans 2 in 1974, but was only released in Europe and Japan due to the record company's decision that there was no hit material to be obtained. The trio was quickly dismissed from ABC Dunhill's roster. Orleans had signed with Asylum Records in March 1975, and their third album, Let There Be Music, was released in May of that year with the title tune reaching number 55 on the Billboard Hot 100. The album also included Dance With Me, which went to number 6 in America in October and became their breakout hit. To free up Wells Kelly to sing and play keyboards on their second album, Waking and Dreaming, released in the spring of 1976, the band added drummer Jerry Murata into the fold. That album yielded the band's biggest hit single, Still the One, a double lead guitar effort that peaked at number 5 in late summer of that year. Orleans crisscrossed America on a 10-week tour with Jackson Brown in support of the album, which ended in November. Unfortunately, the album's second single, Reach, with John Hall on lead vocal, stalled at number 85 on the Hot 100 after only two weeks on the chart in January 1977. Internal friction and petty fights caused dissension among the band's members by the next summer, and John Hall chose to depart to pursue a solo career. Jerry Murata, the drummer, left the band to join Daryl Hall and John Oates before eventually joining Peter Gabriel. In 1977, Hall left to focus on his solo career, which he had launched with the Action album at the start of the decade, and became involved in the anti-nuclear movement, fighting to stop a nuclear plant planned for New York and co-founding Musicians United for Safe Energy, with Jackson Brown, Bonnie Raitt, and Graham Nash. The title track, Power, which became an environmental anthem, was recorded live at the No Nukes concert at Madison Square Garden by Pete Seeger, Peter, Paul, and Mary, Holly Near, the Doobie Brothers, and James Taylor. Hall keyboardist and vocalist Bob Leinbach, bassist and vocalist John Troy, and drummer Eric Parker created the John Hall Band in 1981. The John Hall Band recorded two albums on the EMI America label, both of which received a lot of AOR and MTV attention, but didn't chart in the top 40. The band's sole significant hit, which reached number 42 on the Hot 100, was Crazy, Keep On Falling, from the album All of the Above. Larry and Lance Hoppin, along with Wells Kelly, decided to keep the band going by bringing in multi-instrumentalists R.A. Martin and Bob Leinbach after a brief period of working with other acts. Orlean's new incarnation signed with Infinity Records in April 1979 released the album Forever, which had the number 11 Hot 100 smash Love Takes Time. On Billboard's adult contemporary chart, the album's title track reached number 24. The band received a tour with Chicago and Stephen Stills after selling more than 7 million records. Infinity Records declared bankruptcy and was bought by MCA Records in 1980, bringing bad luck to Orleans once more. The group's falling album, Orleans, had minimal promotion and failed to create a smash song despite featuring a cameo appearance by John Hall. 
At this point, guitarist Dennis Fly Amira was hired to replace Bob Lonbach, who had quit to join John Hall's band. Wills discovered that an accountant had misappropriated most of the band's money. The tour had to be cut short, putting the band in deep debt. With his latest setback, R.A. Marin resigned and was replaced on keyboards and by drummer Charlie Shue by Lance and Larry Hoppin's brother, Lane Hoppin. Wells Kelly had had enough of the turbulence by early 1981 and had departed the band as well. Orleans, still a popular live group, signed with Upstart Radio Records before the recording of One of a Kind in the summer of 1982, they were obliged to replace Dennis Amira with Michael Mugrage. Shortly after the album's release, Jerry Moroda returned to play on it, but was quickly replaced by Nicholas Parker. Radio Records, as luck would have it, went out of business shortly after One of a Kind was released. Orleans was forced to play small clubs and venues in and around the northeastern United States without a record deal. Lance and Larry Hoppin also formed Mood Ring, with Bob Leinbach, Nicholas Parker, and Robbie Dupree to play at smaller venues. And if you might be wondering, Robbie Dupree, that sounds familiar. Well, he was known for the soft rock top 10 hit from 1980's Steal Away. In 1984, Mood Ring was advertised as Robbie Dupree and Orleans, but Larry Hoppin had to take a break due to vocal cord problems. On October 29, 1984, while on tour with Meatloaf, Wells Kelly was found dead in a London flat. Kelly's body had significant levels of morphine and cocaine, according to a post-mortem test. His untimely death prompted the Hoppin brothers to reunite with John Hall and Bob Leinbach, who moved to Nashville and signed with MCA for the release of Grown Up Children in June 1986. Steve Warner, Ricky Skaggs, and Chet Atkins were among those who contributed to the endeavor. For concert dates, Orleans added bassist Glenn Warp and drummer Paul Cook, who was later replaced by Tommy Wells. By 1988, the Nashville scene had proven to be the inappropriate home for Orleans music, and the band relocated their entire business to Woodstock, New York, where they hired drummer Peter O'Brien. Lance Hoppin, on the other hand, chose to stay in Nashville and work as a songwriter and session guitarist. Orleans brought in bassist Jim Curtin to fill in for him for the live gigs he couldn't make, and they continued to try to reestablish themselves in the Northeast. The Bear Record at Woodstock's Bearsville Theater on October 6th and 7th of 1994, Orleans Live, which was released in February 1991 and featured Bob Leinbach, John Sebastian, and several other guest musicians. That April, he embarked on a tremendously successful tour of Japan. A new album, Analog Man, was released in 1994 for the Japanese startup label Pioneer, and it was accompanied by another tour of the Far East. When Orleans returned home, he took part in Woodstock 94, where he was accompanied by Bob Leinbach. The Hoppin brothers, John, Larry, and Lance, were still identifying themselves as Orleans in 1995, usually playing tiny clubs. They shared the stage with Fleetwood Mac, Pat Bantart, and Audio Speedwagon on multiple occasions. The album Ride was published the next year by the New Orleans-based indie label Dinosaur Entertainment. Unfortunately, the label folded just as the track I'm On Your Side was starting to gain traction, therefore ending any hope of obtaining airplay. By 1997, the members of the band had decided to take a sabbatical, with John Hall and Lance Hoppin finding work as studio musicians for country acts in Nashville. Larry Hoppin relocated to Florida and joined Voices of Classic Rock, a group that includes lead singers from Rainbow, Survivor, Toto, and Santana. Larry and Lance Hoppin, along with John Hall, Peter O'Brien, and Bob Leinbach, reunited nearly four years after splitting up to perform at the Opus 40 Amphitheater in Sagartes, New York. The performance was so successful that the core members decided to resurrect Orleans. Former Elton John drummer Charlie Morgan joined the band in 2003, and Lane Hoppin returned after a 19-year hiatus. Dancing in the Moonlight, a new studio album for CD Baby, was released in October 2005. Dennis Fly and Mara reunited with Larry Lance and Lane Hoppin, as well as Charlie Morgan, when John Hall announced his candidacy for U.S. Congress in 2006. We're Still Having Fun, a live DVD CD recorded in August 2006, was released in May 2007. John Hall was elected as a Democrat to the United States House of Representatives from the state of New York on November 7, 2006. 
In 2008, he was re-elected, but in 2010, he was defeated. When Larry Hoppin died of an apparent suicide on July 24, 2012, Orleans continued to perform across America. In remembrance of him, the band performed a tribute gig at the Bearsville Theater in Woodstock on October 16th of that year. Orleans went on with a lineup that included John Hall, Dennis Amaro, Charlie Morgan, and Lance and Lane Hoppin after the tragedy. They performed their tunes and backed up Christopher Cross, Firefall, Gary Wright, John Ford Coley, Robbie Dupree, Player, and Al Stewart on the Sail Rock Tour in 2013. That year also saw the publication of The Last Band Standing, a DVD, and No More Than You Can Handle, a 40-year musical journey, a two-disc compilation seed that includes several previously unreleased recordings. Orleans continued to tour in 2017 at a few select venues across the United States. Orleans continues to tour the United States in the following years. In April 2018, Charlie Morgan left the band and was replaced by Brady Spencer, a drummer. John Hall announced his retirement from performing in July 2019. Orleans was then joined on guitar and vocals by Daniel Chip Martin, a Nashville musician friend of Lance and Brady's. However, John's retirement turned out to be a brief hiatus. John was preparing to resume touring in March 2020 when the COVID-19 outbreak brought everything to a halt. Orleans resumed in-person appearances in the summer of 2021 and in September of the same year, vocalist guitarist Tom Lane came in to cover up for an unwell Fly Amaro. Recently, the band published an in-isolation video performance of No More Than You Can Handle in remembrance of Larry Hoppin as well as a resource for people dealing with the hardships of these trying times. And that's what happened to Orleans. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And here's a playlist of my favorite Orleans songs. And my Patreon link is on screen as well. Give me some of your favorite Orleans songs, a memory you have with a song of theirs. If you've seen them live at concert, anything would be appreciated. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.